I didn't steal, man, tonight. No, I didn't steal, cool. Fuck yeah. All right, so at any rate, yeah, Fred, Fred Smith's in the house, everybody. Fred Smith the third. Hey, you're right here. All the way out from Beantown. Actually, not Beantown, but yeah, he works in Beantown, but he lives in another place. I'm not going to tell you because I don't want you to bug it. Uh, thanks so much, everyone, for coming here. It's a great crowd. Well, our film, Blood Steel, if you're unfamiliar, um, is a film about a place, a story place on the East Coast, uh, a ramp, if you would. And back in the day, uh, the backyard scene was where it was at. No skate parks. Uh, there were skate parks and then there weren't. So watch the film and get educated. But aside from that, the lineup that we have here and that is showing up is incredibly impressive and I'm just very proud to have you here. Stunts. I can't thank you enough. Dave Tobin, uh, shoulder, shoulder surgery yesterday in Portland. And here he is today. He's ready. He said he was ready to skate. So without further ado, I present to you our latest opus. Blood and Steel, Cedar Crest Country Club. It was like, you know, going up to the fucking Coliseum. I had heard of Cedar Crest, and it was pretty legendary at that point. Like, we know it's Cedar Crest, wherever that is, you know. The first time I ever saw Cedar Crest was in photos, and it was of people blasting huge airs, and I thought that that ramp looks really good <laughs> you know because people were going that high regardless even the best guys weren't going that high to me it was so in the middle of nowhere and such this temple type of thing take a couple rides and it just changes everything bam cedar crest was a bubble i mean it was such a variety of people and it was awesome it just was mind-blowing it was fucking huge it was like the biggest thing I've ever seen, like telephone poles all the way around it and stuff like that it made no sense when you went to cedar crest you know your airs were a foot higher. Your tail's going to smash that much harder. Your grinds are going to be gnarlier. That ramp elevated everybody's skating. We went through years of battling with cops and communities. No one understood what we were doing. Skateboarding was completely unknown. We dreamed and we stuck it out. Finally, we built a home, Cedar Crest. But it wasn't just about the skating, it was about the lifestyle. From punk to metal to stoners to hippies, we were all one big fucked up family. Scream, they're going to raise the freaking roof. So unfortunately, Kent and has pneumonia, he's fucking blessed by this dude back here. He's the drummer of my Caribbean's in the world. Shut up your feet. And jump box, Adam Wade. Joining these badass motherfuckers in Scream. So give it up for Scream.
This is our first record. It's called Fight America Justice. It's actually two songs. We put together a little trickery, production trickery. Ian, Ian McKay. Trickery. We put two songs together. Trickery. Some kind of good. Thank you. 